I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. The city of Indianapolis wants to make significant investments in pedestrian and bicycle safety, but need the state's help to make it possible. The city will be installing flashing lights at 25 schools across the city to make crosswalks more visible. It's also hoping to add $25 million more to the budget in order to invest in residential streets. Mayor Joe Hogg said we'll have to work with the legislature to change the amount of funding the city gets. Drivers we spoke with feel the investment is worth it. I'm a retired truck driver and when I would go to Cincinnati, Kentucky. I used to brag about Indianapolis streets, but in the last 10 years, they are no. The state legislature has established a task force to figure out the best way to properly fund roads across the state. If the legislature changes the funding formula the way the city is suggesting, Marion County would get 49 million more dollars to invest in roads. In just a few days, Monument Circle as we know it will change at least for a few months. WRTV got a preview of the new pedestrian friendly portion in the southwest corner. Spark on the Circle opens this Saturday with an official grand opening and ribbon cutting planned for Tuesday. The temporary park will feature a park like atmosphere, entertainment programs and local food services. Working with the South Downtown Connectivity Vision Plan that was just recently announced, Something we heard from that plan was that uh, folks wanted shade, they wanted seating, they wanted activities for kids, they wanted food and beverages, and they wanted car-free spaces. And what better uh, space to make partially car-free than the most iconic space in the city and the state. The circle will return to normal in early November. A car-free monument circle isn't a new concept. Check out what people in 1978 had to say about the idea in our Throwback Thursday post on WRTV.com.